And now for some of the other images sent in from around the world this week by our observers. We head to central Iran to the city of Haji Abad. This was the reaction of spectators when they learned that a famous Iranian actress, Nargis Mohammadi, decided to leave the show just minutes before she was supposed to get on stage. She was angry that the city's imam had told the audience that she was going to wear a chador during the show. A chador is a full body cloak. She had planned to wear a hijab, which is what most Iranian women wear and covers only their hair. So she decided to quit. Shireen, our observer, tells us that while hijabs are mandatory in Iran, chadors are not. Next stop, Kobane, a Kurdish town in Syria where Kurds are battling jihadists from the Islamic State organization. Mohammed Arif is a Kurdish doctor who told us about his work on the front lines. He says that every week, the city's field hospital changes locations so that the jihadists can't spot it. And since very little aid is coming from across the border in Turkey, doctors are sorely lacking in medicine and equipment. To save a Kurdish fighter's life, Mohammed had to give him a blood transfusion straight from his own arm. He says the situation can't go on much longer because the hospital is going to run out of supplies. Jason Stone King takes us to Cairo, where the rooftops are getting a splash of color. During an artist residency in Egypt's capital, this American poet got the idea of painting satellite dishes. He says he and his team have been welcomed by local residents as long as they don't mess up their satellite signals. And now for a little music. He's 17 years old and goes by the name Mr. Crazy. This young rapper describes life in Casablanca's poorest neighborhoods. In his latest clip, actors pretend to take drugs and engage in violence. This honest depiction did not sit well with the authorities. Mr. Crazy was arrested in August and accused of immoral acts. He should be freed in early November. Our observer, Mouad Belhouat, who is also a rapper, says this is a parody of justice. That's it for this week. But as always, you can find more reports from our observers on our website, on our Facebook and Twitter pages, and on our smartphone app. See you next time.